The Bureau of Land Management manages Mustangs on public land. At the rate they're going with the roundups and the removal of Mustangs from public land, we won't have them anymore. So if we don't protect them, they're going to be gone. And that's the reason I decided to start adopting Mustangs. I had come up with this idea to do a long ride and thought, what better horse to do it with than a Mustang? So I went up to the uh, Litchfield Corrals to check out the horses, and there were around about a thousand horses that had just come in, and one of them was Aries. That first day that I had Aries, I realized just the level of horse I had acquired. The first time I went in his pen, he ran to the other side and stared at me. It was just surreal to be in, the, in a small space with an 11-year-old wild horse that his only experience with human beings was being run through chutes and branded and castrated. And for him to even consider interacting with me was so humbling. Ever since they touched him, uh, it's a huge change. You can touch them with whips, you can touch them with ropes, but once you touch them with something that has a pulse, it's very different and they just switch. In a few months, I'll be riding Aries from Bodega Bay, California, around 350 miles to Susanville, California. It's gonna take three weeks or so. Sometimes we'll be camping, we'll meet people along the road that you know have a place that we can stay. There's a lot of potential for disaster. Aries still doesn't like cars. <laughs> So riding along roadways is going to be challenging for him. I think it's hard for people to identify with an issue unless they have a personal interest in it. So I want to make a film showing Aries's journey from wild to tame and then our physical journey together from Bodega Bay to Susanville, California. If people can connect with him the way I have, they'll care about the issues that are faced by Mustangs that are still wild. The West was won on the back of a horse, and we're losing them. We're losing a piece of American history, and nobody knows about it. If I make this film, it has the power to reach a lot of people and really make a difference.